Dan. Thank you guys for joining me. Um, this is my second uh, product open house. And um, what I want to first start with before I get into why you should use this, I, I think this product many of you are using in some fashion already. Um, the term compression means a lot of different things, but I think it means a, a bit more to those of you in this community. And um, I've been working with a few different options that, that Life Pro carries as home self-care use stuff. And just like many tools, you know, one thing is never going to be the one thing for everything or for everybody. And uh, I'm not going to get into a ton of comparisons about, you know, is, is, is compression better than vibration or is it better than red light or is it better than sauna? You know, a lot of these types of technologies have similar benefits. So depending on the symptoms that you're dealing with or what your aches and pains might present, where they might present, sometimes you've got to experiment, as you know. Um, but I, what, what I like about these open houses is it kind of gives you a visual without having to spend the cash before you decide to a degree. And it's been an interesting couple of months. Um, many of you are using medical grade devices. Um, my group personally is getting close to about 6,000. And I'm going to guess that probably... 50 to 60% are undiagnosed. So I live in the zone of, I would love it if I could refer you to a doctor, get you a prescription for everything you need, and your insurance company just says, okay, whatever you need. But that's, I wouldn't have a page with 6,000 people if that was the case. So many of you, of course, know my roots are the vibration machine, which if you can only pick one thing that's gonna do the most, um, where does the vibration come in? Why is it important? Um, I always say I'm going to try and not make this complicated, but it's, it's, it's very encompassing. There's lots of different things that a vibration machine can offer you. Um, for the, the bare minimum of this group, it's, it's like a lymph and circulation super pill. Um, but it's a weight bearing activity. So over any other treat, it can be a treatment for a lot of the conditions to help you manage them. Um, but it, it does give you the option of weight bearing activity. So where traditional activity, like the, you know, go even going for a walk or going, you know, it's not the pool itself. The pool's great when you get there, it's getting to the pool and home from the pool. So what I, what I love about vibration therapy, um, in the form of a vibration plate and how you, I'll, I'll get into why you want to use it with this stuff here in a minute is, you know, it doesn't have to be a, a big time commitment. Many of you deal with chronic fatigue, chronic pain. Sometimes you just don't want to, you know, life kicks you in the ass, you know, so many days in a row and, and you don't really want to do more work. And I hate the word workout. It's just workout and diet are like the two worst words to ever, they're, they're very demotivating. So think of higher vibe words, you know, this isn't, vibration machines can be exercise, but if, if you're incapable of moving um, because your pain kills you 30 seconds after your third step, you know, everybody's going to start somewhere. And in all the years, myself personally, um, looking for an activity to help me lose weight, deal with my bad knee, it was kinder on my body. It was up to me whether I chose to kick my own ass and do the work. So the fitness thing on these machines, you know, the difference between standing and squatting is a whole world of benefits. Some of you maybe aren't able to squat yet and you've got to work towards that. You can do standing positions, still get the benefits of weight bearing activity with a whole lot of other great things too. So that's, that's why I'm so obsessed with vibration machines. Now that I've gotten into Zoom, I can see that I need to just move my camera back a little bit because as soon as Debbie stands up, huh, you're not gonna see her. So let me move this two seconds here. Thank you for your patience. Okay. I have all these lights behind camera, of course, there. So let's see if we can see a little more. Okay. Um, today, the primary topic is compressions. And this is probably going to be more questions, I think, than, than many things, because um, you're all going to have your own opinion um, on, on this one to a degree. So many of you are using medical grade devices. You're using flexi touches, lymph presses. There's a few, there's probably, I think there's one more I'm missing. There's three main ones in the States. 
Of course, you go to Europe and there's all those other options that we just don't seem to have access to here all the time. But, um, you know, if you've ever been in, in a, a hospital situation and you've been in a, you, maybe you've been in a bed where there's been some, you know, air compression to expedite your recovery, compression comes in lots of different shapes and sizes. And um, I'm sure most of you here are familiar with compression socks. So before I get into the, the demo thing, I'm gonna answer this question. I'm gonna say for the last time, but I know I answered about once a week. For your compression garments, so let's start with that before we get into how to ramp that up. Your socks, your, your arm sleeves, you know, what, whatever your compression garments on, um, I'm not the expert. You guys are definitely the expert. And, and a lot of you will know from your own experience, sometimes your, your compressions change. The grade of those compressions need to change. Maybe you're going through surgery. Maybe you, you screw up your foot and you're living in, in a walker friend for, you know, sometimes, you know, other things that happen to your body change that, you know, not, not that something's changed with your condition, but short term, maybe you're needing to deal with something. Um, so with compressions, and I recap this in, in a previous session, but with compression garments, um, your socks, your sleeves, there's different measurements of, let's say, intensity or how much it's squeezing you. And proper compression garments, um, you do a little bit of homework, uh, Cheryl and um, Kelly and everybody over at the, the food group has some good clues there, but many of you are familiar with this. You can walk into the drugstore and you can buy, you know, diabetic or compression socks. They're going to have a, a measurement of about 15 to 20, what's called millimeters of mercury. So, you know, when you go to the doctor and they put your sleeve on and they measure that it's a form of pressure measurement. And so your compressions over the counter, um, not that they're cheap at the drugstore, but they're going to be anywhere from about 10 to 15 um, in that measurement. There are three different types of classes when you get into medical grade. So this is something your doctor or your PT may have prescribed to you. Um, there's class one, two, and three. And um, I got looking at my notes here. Yeah, class one is going to be 20 to 30 range. Class two is going to be 30 to 40. And class three is 40 to 50. And if, if you're not sure where you fall in or what you should be doing, you should speak with someone specifically. These are things you want to just, you know, throw on because there's they're something that works for you. And, uh, you know, there, there's there's benefits but there can also be detriment if you're getting cheap ones um if you're not if you don't understand how let's talk about a sock the, the weave of the sock itself there, there's an, a difference in the weave at the base of the foot that encourages the blood flow to go up the leg if, if you get into some cheap ass compressions and don't know what you're doing what you don't want to do is have you know maybe the wrong seam or, or however they're constructed but I have seen customers that have you know bought the cheap ones or didn't know what they were buying and they, they've caused themselves more harm more swelling more inflammation so make sure you know what you're doing and if you don't talk to someone who does so I'm not going to be the compression garment expert but I just kind of wanted to give you guys if you're not using compression devices it kind of gives you an idea of how tight it's going to feel so if you're wearing, you know, a medical one or two class, you kind of understand how it physically feels on your body. Any of the devices that I'm covering today are kind of a blend between the class one and class three. The reason I say that is they have adjustable settings. So some of the devices, um, the air compression devices that I'm going to go over today are anywhere as low as like the 30 range, 25, 30 upwards of 50 in some of the legging devices, but you adjust the setting. So it, it's kind of, they're, they're a little bit more universal than a sock or a sleeve in that you can customize within the modes and the settings of the devices, how much pressure you physically want to feel. And what's kind of cool about that, especially from a surgery, or maybe you're getting ready for, or you're recovering from, you know, usually when you're going under the knife, it's for a reason. You know, there's, there's something else going wrong or something needs to be repaired. Um, a lot of the reasons in the hospital that you would be using air compression, number one reason if you Google this on the internet is to prevent venous insufficiency from progressing. Many of you are dealing with this and you're using this as a tool to manage and stop that from progressing further. Um, but it's an additional risk, of course, when you've had surgery. Um, swelling associated with lymphedema. Everybody knows about lymphedema. Um, it's, it's, you know, the common reason many of these garments are marketed, but it, in the same reason that they benefit lymphedema, moving lymph and circulation, helping you with your pain, it's helping the lipedema, the dirt comes. Any of you dealing, I hate labels, so I don't care if it's lymphedema, lipedema, bad attitude, whatever the label is on your forehead, 
It's about the symptoms. The symptoms are universal and how you treat them for the most part can be universal also. So, you know, many of you have so many labels that I couldn't fit them into a, you know, a short field if I had to. So if you're dealing with multiple concerns, you know, the biggest advice that I can give you is, you know, listen to your body when you're using these devices. You know, you're probably short term, just like when you start with the vibration machine, you may notice a short term increase in swelling or decrease. You know, um, don't get freaked out if you have an increase. What that tells you is where are those blockages? Where is it stopping? Where do I need to spend some additional time and care maybe addressing those things? So don't be surprised if you do notice a short term increase or dramatic decrease in swelling. Um, for the opposite side of the equation, if, if all the swelling goes away and your pain is awesome and everything feels great, don't get cocky and go do like laundry and mow the lawn and do a whole bunch of things just because you feel better. Give these things about 30 days, you know, whether it's vibration you're starting for the first time or you're combining it with some of the things I'm going to talk about today. Give your body time to kind of get used to this and don't add a whole bunch of other new things at the same time. So if, if you have like great results, you know, don't increase your activities just because you feel like you might be able to. And if you're starting a new treatment, give it also at least a week or two. You know, don't try compressions and vibration and red light. And, and a new herbal cleanse and then at the end of the week when you puff up like a fish well what did it oh it's always going to be the vibration machine i guarantee i get that phone call but if you're incorporating other things give your body a chance to adjust to each thing individually and, and monitor the stuff like you guys are good at doing so that if you have a little a little win you know what did it and you know maybe just need to tweak it or if you did have a little bit of a setback, you know, maybe I went too long or, or maybe I should have given some, you know, it just gives you an idea to identify how your body's reacting to each of the things. So first point we're going to start with, because this is a vibe plus compression session. Why would we use vibration machines with compression? And would I wear my compression garments while I'm using my vibration machine? So the big tangent I went off of and I'm getting back to number one question I get asked in the group is should I wear my compression garments with my vibe? And the next question is going to be, well, should I wear my compression devices with my vibe? Because there is possibility and I know that you're all big left brain thinkers. So you would want to use a vibration machine potentially before and after for the same reasons I recommend with any of your other stuff is it's going to kind of better prepare the body for whatever you're going to do to it next. And if you got a stiff knee or a bad back or a bad neck because you're recovering from something, you probably could loosen up a little bit anyway. So even if it just makes you feel a little bit better, sometimes I think when we're loose and, and receptive, you know, the, the thing we're doing next is, is more receptive because our body's not resisting it and, 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 you know, doubting it. You guys have gone through so many things that don't work that I think sometimes our internal body goes, yeah, yeah, okay, here's the next thing. So, um, and I'm talking minimal. So this is, you can do a big workout if you're the type of person that likes to do that, but two to three minutes of whatever feels good to you. I don't care what the speed is. I don't care what you're physically doing on it, but get some movement going in particular in the areas that you might be treating. So if you're wearing compression garments now, there is no yes or no. If you're just starting out on a plate for the first time, do what's comfortable for you. You know, if you've got your garments on and, and, and you just want to do a couple minutes before you head out the door, go for it. But I do recommend experiment. Try some time without the compression garments on. Try some with. If you're going to do compression garments and you want to do a good session without them on, do it later in the day. Um, if you do have swelling and you got to get back into your garments, I don't want you mad at me all day because you couldn't get to work or something like that. So common sense applies, but sometimes we, we get so stuck in doing it the way that Debbie said or the doctor said that, you know, we don't apply the common sense. You know you better than any doctor that you've ever seen. You know your triggers and, and you know what you should be avoiding. So same rules of the playground apply here. Um, after two to three minutes, same reason. And if you want to do more, totally up to you, but it's going to help expedite any of the stuff that this has ramped up. So if you're working with, you know, breaking up tissue, you're developing scar tissue, you've got clogs, you know, all kinds of things. I think you'll find that standing or even using it seated for a couple to three minutes after is just going to help finish the process. You know, maybe you've been sitting doing the compressions and you're all stiff again. So the same reasons you do it before are the same reasons you do it after. So there's no real big 
secrets with that. Um, if your goals are things like toning, weight loss, you know, strength, I would prefer that standing position look more like a squat. I can always ask. I can keep nagging you. Doesn't mean you have to. And work within your own range of motion. So maybe you can't do a squat as deep as Debbie, but it's something to aspire to. I didn't start deep squats. I, I didn't wake up 130 pounds. Um, uh, I would also like to stress that throughout the course of the day, um, your machine, your compressions, if you're using them more than one time a day, it's fine, of course, to use the machine in conjunction. If you're just using it as a spot treatment before and after, it's fine. If you are doing exercise, if you're kicking your butt in an honest way, you're pushing to fatigue, you're not just going through the motions, you know, like just like going to the gym probably once a day, you know, if you're actually pushing to fatigue. Um, I don't mind doing a little squat once in a while just to boost my energy, but pushing to fatigue is, is where those body changes are going to come. Um, the strength is going to come. And, and what your quit point is, is going to be different for everybody. But you're always getting the lymph. You know, whatever you're doing on the machine, you're getting lymph and circulation. If you choose to do more, and I challenge you to, it's up to you. Okay. Uh, thank you, Miss Kim. You're looking all foxy in your, your monochromatic fixture, picture. Thank you for joining us. So normally I just talk about vibration machines, but I thought, you know, I'm excluding some of my people. So I've got a few different vibration things that I want to talk about as the pre and the post treatment to the compressions. Many of you have guns. Um, I've got my feet on the micro waver just a little tiny one because I'm not doing any big stuff today and I've also got a foot massager here but you know what you can't see them can you let me back my cameras up again this is terrible stupid zoom there now you can sort of see there okay so depending on what you're dealing with and why you're using compression um I, I absolutely recommend if you're going to be treating a particular body part warm that body part up. Very commonly, a lot of you are doing leg work or you're doing arm work. Um, so, you know, two to three minutes seated on the machine. Turn it on first. My daughter was in here playing last night. So for those of you that want to join in, if you've got a plate handy, I'm just sitting in my bar stool like I always am. There's never a beer beside me though. It's always just a vibration machine and wellness tools. We may have to change it and have a cocktail open house one time. But you know, this is just getting the lower legs moving a little bit. If you're dealing with, you know, a lymphoma or you, you've got some tough spots and you have a gun, you can target it while you're sitting. If you want to work some upper body while you're doing it, anything that you can do in a couple, three minutes just to get your body prepared for the next steps, okay? Um, if you are, you know, dealing with really, really poor mobility and more of your time is spent seated. I'm going to do a session on this one another time, but I've been playing with a number of Life Pro's foot massagers as well. Um, and I'm really liking this one and I've got another one I'll show you later, but this is, this isn't meant for standing or sitting, but you know, this is another way just to get a stimulation, get those, especially the feet and the ankles, they tend to take the most abuse. Um, if you've got a foot massager, you know, any kind of vibration that you can use as a pre-treatment is just going to ramp up the results while we pair some of this other stuff with it. If you are treating a lymphoma, a lump, a bump, I'm talking to my Durkham's crowd here for sure. Um, many of my, my other, uh, my lipedema and lymphedema folks have it as well. But I, I think you'll find your compressions are going to be more effective if you can spot treat, if you've got a really bad one or, or some that you're treating. We're having a lot of luck with massage guns. So, you know, even a massage gun, just warming up that localized area before we get to some of the compressions might be a better option for you. So let's get into some of the toys we wanted to talk about today. I'm going to demonstrate a couple of things here today. And um, I kind of nagged the crap out of, of one of my members. Kim Wilson is going to be kind enough to be doing a demonstration on some of the larger products today um, because she uses many of these as her self-care tools and is one of my guinea pigs out there. And I wanted to give you someone who's dealing with these conditions, who's had a bit of time with these conditions, other than Debbie, the trainer, kind of the salesperson. I, I want you guys to have some, some honest uh, feedback. And we're going to leave some time at the end, of course, for questions as well. So the first one I'm going to go over are called my little booties. Now these come in a little carry gate bag. These are called the Radiate Foot and Calf Massagers. Um, 
the biggest thing, and out of all the toys that I have here, it's not always the most expensive one that, that you fall in love with. And again, not any one thing is perfect for every application. But what I love about these is, is I have found over the years that as I work with you, many of you spend lots of time in the car or in doctor's office waiting rooms or lot, just lots of times where you can't be around your stuff doing your regular care. This is a lithium battery operated unit. So you charge up this, um, it's, it's your remote and it's your battery kind of built it all into one. It comes with a charging unit. And I think it's got probably, I'm going to say a couple hours uh, charge time. And they're just two little boots, okay? Now they're Velcro. So depending on the size of your leg, um, I've got the measurements down because everybody always asks. The foot will fit from 10.2 inches to 14.2. The calf part itself is 16 and a half to 21.7. So what I've kind of done with these, and I'm going to stand up so I can show you, is they're kind of adjusted to fit me personally. So I just slip them on. Oh, I need to exfoliate my feet. And you can see it's kind of a loose fit. I'll put these on under my desk. I'll put these on in the car. Um, I like laying with them on the couch. Um, how these kind of work, you'll notice in the bottom. I'm doing like a terrible demo right now. So there's two sets of connectors here and one hat, they have to go into the proper ones. So they are labeled right and left. So right's going in here, left is going, I purposely left this apart to show you that if Debbie can assemble this on camera without screwing it up, anybody can do this. I charged it up last night. And hang on. There. So it's kind of hard to see the display, but once it's powered up, can you hear that? Can you hear that? Somebody give me a wave if you can hear that. So the nicest thing about this is they're really damn quiet. You can't necessarily see, I don't think this on camera, but right now it's starting to inflate and there's pressure building up behind. I've got this on the lowest setting right now. And uh, this one here has it has six different massage modes. It has three different compression intensities. So when I was talking earlier about the, the 20 to 30 or what the medical grades are, really depending on the type of compression that you're wearing now, where you would start with something like this would probably mirror what you're wearing within your daily compression. So if you're just wearing it over the counter, at, you know, 15 to 20, I, I think you'll enjoy the, the lower settings, the 30 range. This is more of a massage. And it's not something you're going to be wearing all day. Um, if, if you're, you know, wearing, you know, class two or three, where you're already in that 30, 40, 50 range, um, you may find the higher settings, your tolerance is, is more developed for those. And it's going to be more similar to the tension that you're used to feeling in those compressions. So this is just in, like I say, in, in, in mode one, it's just the air compression. There's also optional heat with these. And I say optional because I know many of you cannot tolerate the heat. Um, this session will, I, I usually recommend about a 10 to 15 minute session, um, and work up from there. I'm sure many of you can tolerate more, but like anything else, you know, start with a basic baseline and progress depending on how you feel. Another really good way to do it is if, if you're short on time, instead of, you know, over subsequent weeks going longer and longer, try taking on different intensities or dropping the intensity, mix it up from week to week just like the machines to keep your body guessing, okay? Um, I'm gonna turn this off now. Hang on, one, two, three. The biggest thing I like about the booties, even though they're not the biggest and the fanciest set that Life Pro offers, is, is they are little. And if, if you are going in for you know some kind of treatment or you're traveling away, it's not gonna take up tons of luggage room. And, and the fact that you can just slip them on in the car um, I love. So, you know, there's, there's lots of different versions of these out there. Um, but why am I showing them to you today? 
like I said, many of you are undiagnosed. You're never going to get a prescription, let alone explaining to your insurance company. And I know there are medical grade options out there, but they're simply not accessible. So, you know, I've been the medical grade vibration machine lady and, and, you know, I'm having more success with a two to $300 vibration machine because more of you are using it. It's accessible if it's affordable. So, you know, if I'm recommending things that are 30, 40, $50,000, you know, I'm simply leaving more of you out than I'm helping. So that's why I'm talking about a few of these things today. So no, they are not a medical grade. They, they are not uh, something that you require a prescription for. And for the cost of these, where do these ones go for? I think these ones are like $79. So for $79, you're probably paying more in administration fees with your insurance companies, or your doctors to see if you can even get a prescription for the real one. So that's my first little rant is the little booties, like I say, for all those times you spend in the car, you know, office, you know, you know what you're supposed to be doing to take care of yourself, but life sometimes gets in the way. So some of these tools, not only are they affordable, but they have a lifetime warranty with Life Pro. So God forbid, if anything should happen with your devices, they'll take care of you. So that's the big thing. You start using these things and you depend on them and they break. Maybe you're not in a position to buy another one. Or if it's a medical device, maybe you're not in a position to wait three to six months for parts or servicing. Just my own experience with German vibration plates. So um, that's device number one. Um, Kim is going to demonstrate a little bit later uh, when I'm done my ramblings here. The larger version of those. The larger version of those are more encompassing. Okay, they have kneecaps, they have thighs, and then they've got the similar bottom portions. And um, I thought uh, it would be better to, to have someone live showing you a little bit more on that. Um, that one's going to have the similar settings, though. It's going to have um, variable settings, and I'm going to put links. I put some of the links in the event for this product, but I'm going to put links to all of these if you want to do a little bit more looking later. The next one that I want to demonstrate, and Kim's going to show you this one, too. Um, this one's kind of unique and special to me. I don't really have lipedema, as you know, or lymphedema, but I do have awesome arthritis developing in my older age. And um, I have a, a very old babysitter with Crohn's that's in her 80s, and th her hands just look like broken little uh, sticks. And I got her one of these for Christmas a couple years ago. This is a compression massage for your hands. Many of you deal with hand issues and you know sometimes it's it's just you know all the multiple conditions that you're dealing with. Sometimes it's your job just like regular people you're on a computer or you're writing with a pen too much. But a lot of times your hands are your self-care tools. They're the ones doing all the stuff to you. So your neck and your hands, you know, most chicks have stress and pain in these areas, but it's just amplified for you because you're doing all these manual things to yourself. So your hands take a toll. And then when you need them, you know, they're puffy and they're sore. Many of you have developed lymphomas. So what I love about this, again, it's also uh, uh, power. It's got like a lithium battery in it. So you just, it's a, whatever the new USB type is, is what it is. So this one has... Uh, and Kim's going to know this. She's looking at me right now going, you don't know this off the top of your head. This one has five intensity levels. It has five different massage modes. So the intensity is the difference in compression, how strong that feels. The modes are just different feels in the massage. So you have to play with what feels best for you. It has optional heat because some of you, oh, I can't do the heat. I find my hand just being enclosed in some of these compression devices is enough, my own body heat, because it's kind of like you're wearing a blanket. So you're gonna have to try it, depending on you. I don't typically recommend heat if you are dealing with lots of inflammation. So you just have to use your own discretion with that. Uh, again, you know your body. So on this one here, let me get up a little bit closer so you can see some buttons. This is your power, can you hear it? No, you probably can't even hear it. Can't even hear it. This is your heat. If you want heat, it's optional. And then these are your ingestible, hang on, I did it wrong here. I've got it on a pre-programmed setting, that's why. There. So depending, there's lots of different adjustments. Right now, just to give you a description, I feel there's like a, a spiky little rubber ball inflating in the palm of my hand. And the first thing it does is it kind of positions your hand in place. And then you, you can walk around the house with this thing on your hand once it's inflated. I love it. Um, 
I, I've often dreamed of having two, but I kind of always need one hand for something. So this one, again, great for the car, great for the office. You know, you're not plugged into something at the wall where you're committed. Like, you know, you get on a Facebook call and then you're screwed for an hour. So, but yeah, this one, and it weighs next to nothing. Um, you can see my little fingers in the end there. Depending on you, you can push your fingers a little further through. You can pull it back. You'll feel where it grabs you just kind of right above the wrist. And, you know, if you've got sensitivities in the wrist, carpal tunnel, you know, position your hand accordingly and play with the different settings to see what intensity feels best for you. I think this one comes in black and white. Uh, to me, black is sexier and more sporty and white is more medical. So I like the black one. Um, but uh, loving this one, um, probably between all of the things passively that I do with these compressions, um, if I'm going to go for anything, this one is, is kind of, I don't do it every day, but I am using this one about a couple, three times a week. If all of a sudden you've got to go and run, you just hit power, it inflates very quickly and you just slip it off your hand. So um, you can probably see right through that if I hold it in the right light, but um, it's lined with a, a nice comfortable fabric. Um, I, I don't get so hot that I, I sweat in it, but if that's a concern for you and you want to put on you know, just, just a, a thin glove or something, um, but I haven't had too many issues that way. Um, and uh, my kids like playing with it too. My daughter puts it in. I don't think she really has any issues with her hands, but she's fascinated by something that's in the device grabbing her hands. So uh, say the only thing, if you are using this with children or, or seniors, um, you know, if you've got somebody with petite hands up to about a large size hand, it's fine. If you've got really big man trucker size hands, uh, they will fit, but you might find some of the, the higher intensities a little too strong. So if you have large, large hands, start with one of the smaller settings because you're, you're taking up a little bit more room in the cavity and you may not need uh, as much inflation. So that's the hand one. I, I really enjoy that. Um, it's little, it's affordable. This one I think retails for $79. Again, I, I wish I could give you a diagnosis and a prescription and a guarantee your insurance company is going to pay for it. Um, but for 79 bucks, uh, why suffer? That's just an idea. Um, the next one is a little bit more encompassing, a little bit more substantial. This one just came out and I will make note a lot of the compression garments with uh, Life Pro, with the exception of the hand massager and the uh, eye massager, which is something else Kim's going to show us today. Um, they are out of stock for a couple more weeks. These, these products have really taken off in a lot of ways. Um, I don't take credit for that, but I know many of you have started using them. And as the word gets out, uh, things tend to move a little bit quicker. So this is a cryo compression system. So this is a little bit different. This is about cold, 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 cold. So you can see the name, it's called a compression system. And I just kind of want to show you as I open the bag, this comes with a very nice bag. I'm going to call it substantial, my word. And in here is a lithium power. Uh, there's, a, there's a power pack for the wall. You can order a separate lithium battery, pardon me. Um, it's just a regular wall plug. Nothing fancy that way. You can order lithium batteries for this one. Let me get all the paperwork out of the way. Now this one comes with two different sleeves. Now they're a little bit on the heavy side and I will explain why. There, it, one sleeve is an ankle cuff, is, is what it's described as. But let me tell you, it works pretty good as an elbow or an arm cuff too. So what I'm suggesting with these, you know, a lot of companies make these things. Um, but Life Pro, this one, this version has a leg. Hang on. So it has a, like an upper thigh or a leg sleeve and it has an ankle sleeve. So even though the name on it is thigh or ankle, I think many of you can get very creative with where you might apply this to your body. And I know a lot of you are really looking for something for upper body. And I haven't seen a lot of products online that are specifically, unless you're spending thousands and thousands, that are, are specifically designed for that upper arm and the torso. Um, so I have been playing with this ankle cuff and uh, there's a bunch of different Velcro attachments. What goes inside of this that makes it cold, there are gel packs. So depending on you, some of you prefer cold, uh, some of you should be using cold, maybe you're dealing with inflammation or, or something of that nature. So these packs, I would recommend putting them in the freezer or the refrigerator 
I wouldn't do it as long as they recommend. To me, I found it a little too chilly. Um, I keep mine in my cold room. I've, I've got an old school cold room and I find it's, it's cold enough. Um, I don't like doing this much more than about 10, 15 minutes. I find that it's all that I need. And in comparison to the heat compression, I kind of get like revitalized. It kind of like, maybe it's the cold, the cold thing, the blood, I don't know, but I find it, it's refreshing. It wakes me up, but I can see this being hugely, hugely beneficial for those of you that like the cooler sensation. So how these kind of go together, you can use these with or without the packs. So if you're looking for, you know, a compression system that is just no heat, no frills, no whistles, this one, you can use them with the packs or without. So depending on you, so you open this up and there's a whole bunch of Velcro channels sewn into the inside of this thing. Okay. I take this gel pack and it's got the opposite Velcro. Oh, hang on. They're pretty robust when they're new. So make sure you get your Velcro lined up properly, which I did not do. The best way is to sort of fold it in half and do it start that way. So like this. Okay. So now the cold pack is installed. I don't know if you can see that on camera. And then you just apply where you want to apply it. So play with the temperature on this one. Um, I, I have a friend that will be uh, working with this with me over the next month or so, but unfortunately it is out of stock. Um, so as soon as she gets it, uh, we're going to do a little bit of playing. Um, I, I love using some, some victims that have lots of conditions. So uh, thank you for volunteering. You know who you are. Um, and, and like I say, this one is also portable and packable. So if you're traveling, you know, um, it's got... I love the gym bag. I hate to say it, but it's got like little vents on the bottom and um, there's room for other stuff. So if you were taking this with you, you know, you could add your, your lunch and your purse or whatever else to it. Um, let's take a look at the thigh one. This is probably the most universal one in the kit. So um, depending on your size and your preference, it's got three of these, okay? And then inside of this one, you can see the larger pack. Again, you can use it with or without the pack. This one kind of depends. Like, you know, you can certainly use it on the upper thigh. If your calves are larger and traditional, the booties or those type of size, they're kind of a universal size. If you're finding they're too small, if you're, if you're dealing with lots of swelling or mass in the upper arms, I think that you will find this is a, a pretty good size to work with. I'm going to put it on my legs so that you can see it. Oh, I'm just such a ballerina today, aren't I? Okay. Probably better to do this sitting down in all reality. And you could, there, okay. So that covers my full thigh just to give you an idea of the size. More than enough gonna be for the upper part here. And again, you could use it on the calf, slide it down and, and just readjust it. These each have connected to them. Air hoses, big surprise, it's an air compression system. And you can run one or both of these devices through the controller. They each have different attachments for the airlines. And they simply just kind of screw on to the end and they're attached. So you can use just the thigh, you can use, you should see the mess I have on the floor beside me. Um, Debbie and her klutzy demos, right? Okay, there. So again, if, if you're just joining us, this is described as an ankle cuff, but I think it's gonna fit a lot of elbows as well, depending. And it has its own airline that you can also attach. Ta-da! And you're good to go. So this one they've come out with just about a month ago. So I've done some compression sessions before and most of them um do have a heat function but this is the first they talk about cryo cryo of course is cold um but i i think um ice cold is too cold so if you're considering this system and you prefer the appeal of something cold um try it just a little bit try with just the fridge first for maybe about a half an hour take the gel packs out i put them mine in a ziploc bag and just throw them in the fridge for about, you know, maybe an hour, an hour and a half before your treatment. If you find you want it a little bit colder, maybe step it up to the freezer 
for about a half an hour before your treatment. Or if you've got a cold room or a garage somewhere where it's just a little bit cooler than the room temperature you're dealing with, I think you'll find that your tolerance is going to vary with these products. So I'm going to wrap these ones back up. And that system, I think the cryo frost don't, uh, I think, I think it's more like 249. So, you know, obviously more expensive than some of the other ones. There's a little bit more to it, um, but still well within, um, price compared to what you may pay to some medical grade ones. And of course you guys get 10% off through me. And, and sometimes if you're a, a life pro member or an Amazon member, some of you get better deals and you get like little notifications. So just pay attention to that crap. Okay. And of course you've got your manual in there that explains everything as far as the functions much better than Debbie does. Um, I think I forgot my goggles. I'm going to have to dump that on you, Kim. My goggles are upstairs charging. Um, another product that I did drop in the feed today was the Oculus, and Kim's going to demonstrate that one. And it looks like a virtual reality set of head goggles, but it's actually compression, massage, and optional Bluetooth music um, for the eye area. I know many of you deal just with tension, and, and or maybe you just don't want to look at your kid or your hubby for a couple of hours. But uh, they're an option, um, very portable, very light. Uh, Kim, I'm going to give you notice to, to start getting beautiful. Kim's going to demonstrate uh, a couple of things for us today. For those of you that do not know Kim, Kim um, has Durkheim's disease. There she is. Uh, Kim is one of my fellow Canadians and very early on um, accepted my craziness into this community um, and listened to my ramblings early on. So thank you. Uh, I, I like inviting Kim to some of my sessions for a number of reasons. She's uh, been using a number of these products for a longer period of time. And, you know, as I said, many of you try things. I, the last thing I want you to be is, is you know, that, that the next disappointment. I, I don't want you trying any of these things and, and having a poor experience or not try, spending the money and not trying them out of fear. So, uh, you know, Kim's had some ups and downs as her time using these, but she's kind of, you know, combined a few of them and, and has her own little routine, uh, usually done daily. Um, but I, Kim, I'm going to turn it over to you and, and let you maybe just show me some of what you do with some of these toys. Okay, nice to see everybody. Um, I'll do my best. I'm not much of a showman, but we'll just get better at it as we go. So what I'm doing is, first of all, I just wanted to show you in one situation where I sit in my big zero gravity chair because I have very much uh, problems with my lower end of my SI joint, my back, and my legs are in pain a lot. So with Durkheim's disease, anything can hurt at any time from anything you do. So you just got to deal with it as it goes along. But Debbie got me on to all of these different things, and I call them my in-home therapies now. And first of all, I just want to show you the hand massager. This, you would not believe what it feels like when your hand's being squished. When you go to a massage therapist, they finally get down to your fingers and your hands and they kind of give you a few squishes. And that actually felt really good when I had that done. But when I got this home, I, with a short stubby hand, have to shove my hand in a little further than most people because I have a little tiny stubby hand. So you feel for the ball. There's like a ball inside of there where Debbie says you can kind of see it in there. So I just push it through a little bit more and I finally found like my own favorite modes. So my favorite mode, I'll just turn it on. So just the power button, then I go to the level. I generally, oops. Sorry about that. I have to push this one first. You have to pick the mode before you can get the power level. So I usually go to power level three, and then I'm going to go to the mode. I like the last one, the, the mode five and level three. And I like the vibration, the pulse, because you can get a straight pulse just going, and I, or you can have just constant vibration. I like both, but I like pulse too. So I'm gonna just do the pulse. 
And then you can have heat, but I'm one of those people that don't do too well with the heat thing. So I don't like to get hot and sweaty and that just makes me itch and bite from my Durkums. I get like this flushing and heat just doesn't work for us Durkums girls. So I just leave it off. And so it's about 15, 20 minutes, maybe, Deb. Yeah. I'm not quite sure, but it's a little while. So I'm in my chair. Here I am. I watch TV at night. I just set her down on my chair handle and I just, uh, I love being hand squished. So that's what that one does. Now, at the same time, I can have that going on one of the hands and then my other hand, I could be using another tool, but because I have so many troubles with my hands, I try to just do one thing at a time with the hands. So I'll stop that here. Debbie showed you a little bit about how it works and see my little fingers don't reach so well. <laughs> okay, so that should show you about how that works for me. So I generally use two sessions on both hands. So I, I'm in here for an, a good hour doing the, the hand one. So that's the hand massager. Now you can use the hand massager while you're sitting in the chair. Which, thank I'm, you. I thought there's no way I'm going to get into these dab things on camera and not screw it up. So thank you. Yeah, well, I just thought, you know what? It is a little encumbersome to try and get them on and then sit in a chair and then put everything together. But truthfully, I do it like you pretty much, Deb. I, I actually slip, I pre-size the bottoms and the feet and I slip into it because I open up the knee part. I'll just show you this because this is heated knees, everybody. This is beautiful when you have pain in legs after you've been on your feet all day. And believe me, I got pain in legs at nighttime. Now, I don't often have too much fluid problems with the Durkheim's disease. I don't have lipedema, as far as I know, but I have a lot of pain. So I don't have a lot of fluid retention and swelling, but a little bit. So I like the heat on my paining leg knees. And when you pre-size the foot, so that goes in, and then... I pre-open these top parts, just like Debbie has on her other sets. They're all very, very similar, but I put them on and then I sit in the chair and I shuffle. Like when you sit, your legs shrink, kind of like the pressure on the compression. And I like the pressure to be tight when it's on. So I sit in the chair and then I reposition and make sure I'm comfy. I make sure I have my coffee. I sit and have coffee in the morning with it. Or in the afternoon, in the night, whenever you're aching and hurting is the time to do these therapies. And whatever makes you feel better is which one I choose. So I'm going to just show you how I have a different little bit of a different module holder thing, whatever you call that, the controller. The controller is bigger on, on the full leggings. Yeah, it's like... So what it has too, I just want to show this because there's many options, lots of different programs. There are six different programs and you can do high, medium or low intensity. Yep. You can have heat or no heat. So let's get going and show you how this works. So what I'm going to do is you just hold down the power button. I just have to do it like this so I can show you. Hold it down until the lights come on, and then you choose what you want. So I'm just going to use the very lowest mode just to get a demonstration. So this is the noise. It's not that loud, really, if you can hear it. I'm not sure. No, barely. Okay. So it's not very loud. It's just like a, mm, just a little buzzing sound almost, really, but very soothing and I'm just going to show you now, turn it around to the boots and things. I just, I wonder if I can do this without messing up. No, I can't. Okay, so I'm not sure if you can tell, but the foot, the legs have filled up, but the upper part hasn't started yet. So as the program changes, it's almost like it rolls up the body and down the body. You know what I mean? It's like sometimes... 
the different programs, like, oh, right now my feet are being squished and it feels amazing. Like a person who has Durkheim's disease and lipomas, it's not easy to be pressed and squished in certain areas because they're so painful when they're squished. But surprisingly, these things actually don't hurt me unless I get my foot in the wrong Yep. Um, I'll show you right here, right at the ankle where your booty comes versus your leg. This little interspace here, yep. this is the only place I really have to watch and make sure I don't have any wrinkled pant legs, yes. things yeah. like that. Like I wear my yoga pants and I just fold them over like you would if you were riding your bike when you're young, right? You tuck them yep. in your socks. I do that. I throw them in like you. You wore leggings that don't have any pant leg. So that's probably the best to, to use a, a skinny leg. But whether or not, I just use whatever I'm using. I can have pajama bottoms on, but I don't wear bare skin these things because I don't want them to get dirty. And I want them to last a long time. So I tend to make sure there's always some kind of a coating between me and the stuff. Other than in the hand massager. I, I just use my hand and yeah. that's why I don't use heat. Cause I don't want any sweat in there. Okay. So as oh. I said, like this is just goes along and also at the back, you could strap it onto the wall. If you don't, you know, you're sitting in a, a one spot, but I take this everywhere and you can take this in the car traveling. Like yeah. I don't do good traveling. So you could just sit in the car and have this, doing your compression while your legs are down and you're sitting. So that would move our lymph flow, right? So just these things that you can take along in the car. So I'm going to stop there unless you want me to show anything else about these, Deb. No, I think, and, and thank you for pointing that out. Both that and the smaller booty versions I showed earlier are lithium batteries. So you just charge them up like you do your massage gun or whatever, and you can use them on the go. So and the thing about these was, it does take a few hours or uh, I don't know how many hours it takes to charge this lithium battery, but it actually does me like I would do two full sessions, like oh, two full programs. And they're like 15, 20 minutes long again, right? Like the hand massager. So I'm in the bed for about an hour or in the chair for about an hour. You know, I'll do a couple programs long. And so in the car, you can just help yourself to whatever it works best for you right so and lots of battery life if you were doing a long battery life yeah and, you know, in yeah, both. probably in every i think i think it's about a two hour charge if memory two, yeah. two hours it says on the and it depends on you so i will say if you're not using heat you know certain certain functions will will require more power yes. so i just find if you're using heat um my battery life is 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 less than if i'm not using heat as an example so exactly just, just like the, the hand massager would be the same too yeah, because the more things you're doing, it takes more energy. So that's kind of like just battery life, right? But cool. anyways, I'll just, and then, so to turn it off, and this right left thing is important. You yeah, have yeah. to make sure that part is in the right way or else it won't function. It's, it's probably, probably that's, that's usually the case. Yeah. So then when you go to turn it off, I'll just turn it off and come out of it and show how easy it is to in and out. So you just hold it down again to make it stop. So then you just pull out the, you pull out the right and left. Sorry, I'm just a bit weak here with one hand. I got to do it with two. And then you feel the compression release and then they're, they're going to become loose, right? So give me one second. And it happens fairly quickly. I, I'm going to bring this up for the claustrophobes in the room. If you get this thing on and all of a sudden, you, you know, you're, you're freaking out and you want to get out of them. I've had that happen with, with certain people yeah usually within just a few as soon as you hit that power button or if, if if in a safety situation you're freaking out and you just pull the lines it'll, yeah. it'll deflate in about two to three seconds you can get out oh, of it yeah it's very Long very time. quick and see i have hot flushing and things not menopausal it's to do with my dercoms and i'll implode if i don't get off the chair and get away from the heat of my back so yeah. here we go i've lifted up my zero gravity chair and all I'm going to do is, let's see if I can do this. It's this quick. And they are stiff Velcro. So 
So I do the top parts and the back part. And then I just grab, hold on to a chair because I'm not great with balance. And then I just pull off with the foot and there we go. It's like that quick. Okay, so you can do the, the legs. I call them my legs. <laughs> and when you're in this kind of pain from Durkham's and like I've been in pain since I was four years old with pain. And I've never had anything that ever made my legs feel better like that. I mean, my vibe does too, but yeah. this is a different type of pain relief. When I'm verberating and I've really overdone it, I'm like, I'm almost crying. I can't even stand it. So when I put those on, when I'm in that kind of pain, it's just like, oh, you know, it's just the compression. There's something about the compression and the pain that I suffer with really soothing to me. Right. And it, there's all kinds of different purposes. But while I have those legs on, I can sit here with the Oculax okay. and check out that sexy color. That's pretty sexy too. <laughs> so I'm going to, but what I do with this one to keep it clean. Yeah. I won't be able to see if I'm in the camera. You let me know. I have to take my glasses off. I can't, can't see very well. I use a paper towel underneath it. Yeah. I use a Kleenex. Oh, do you? Okay, because that's all you have to do. If I can figure this out, I have to just take a second here. Okay. So all I have to do is get that like that. Hold the button down. Let's see if it goes off. Oh, here we go. I'm going to see if you can hear it. Oh, oh, I turned it off. Sorry. I was pretty quiet, too. It is. You the paper hear the beef? is great if you want to use it while you, like if you've got makeup on your face. It's yeah, just, uh, I got to look at it so I can figure out what I'm doing. Sorry, folks. That's okay. I, I'm not that schooled in the Oculus as much as I'd like to be. And I still haven't figured out how to do the Bluetooth music. And I want to do that. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to show you. Here's the function while well, it's off my head to show up the control panel. So there's heat when you want it, different programs, and the vibration. So this is compression for your eyes, like migraines, headaches, all of that kind of stuff is really a part of Durkham's as well. Like we all suffer pretty badly with that. So give me a second. It has uh, the, the Oculus she's putting on right now is it's got a, like an adjustable elastic, really big, thick, comfortable strap at the oh, back, okay. but it's got four it? programs. So it's got four different, you know, types of, and it's got two different modes on it and uh, the heat is optional. So, and actually I left the heat on just to see how hot it's going to get for me, but the hot actually feels nice when you're in pain sometimes. Like that's the thing with people with Durkham's is Sometimes hot's good. Sometimes cold is good. So me with heat problems, okay, you should be using cold. Well, no, not always. Heat is soothing and cold is, I don't know, rejuvenating. Like you say, it's the cold thing, right? Yeah. But I don't what think that doing? the eye goggles, it's, it, I would, I would call it warmth more because it, you know, the it's not, yeah. heat isn't as intense as as the no. massager or the legs, if I were, I don't know what the actual temperature is, but in the, um, in, I think in the, what is it? The, the Legra is an opera, like the heat is 104 to 107. Oh yeah. Fahrenheit. No, this isn't, this, this isn't anywhere near that. No, it's just a soothing kind of warmth to your, you know, while you're being massaged, oh. like just the pulsating. And then yeah. it's like, and it t actually takes you away. Like, I can't wait to get the, the music. Like, somebody better get my technology skills. Well, up. Get on the phone later and figure that one out. So, I'm going to hold off on that one. And then I just hit it and it decompresses like seconds. Take it off. Renew your paper towel the next time. Oops, I, you have to hold that power button down till it turns off. <laughs> yeah. With most of the devices. Yeah, most of them. It's for that too, because some people find that actually annoying is, you know, with all these new buttons, these consoles they have on some of these toys nowadays, it's easy to bump one and turn it off. 
Yeah. And it's just a your groove. Guys, right? right. You know, so yeah, it's <laughs> to a degree. It's, you know, if, if you bump it or for whatever reason, you, you have to press and hold it for about three to five seconds to actually turn it off. So thank yeah. you very much, Kim. And, and what you don't see, if you've ever seen Kim on my page, she's got a number of things that it's not uncommon to see her wear, wearing a lot. Of, she'll have the eyes and the hands and the legs. See, going and there's the, back. this is the other one I have is oh, the gun. Yes. The gun. So see, all of this, while I have my legs on, I could be doing shoulders, arms, like I have lipomas everywhere, but I have to be very careful when I use this particular tool, just because of if when I hit the center of a lipoma, it's just like electric shocks. So going very skimmy, you just skim your skin or you're on your clothes. It's actually easier. I like the steel slippery ones for on my clothes but you just turn it on a higher speed and just barely touch yourself. And it moves a lot easier that way. I found that was a trial and error piece. Yeah. But the, the other thing that like, you can use this gun on your vibe. Like I have the vibration plate. Did you want me to go on to the vibration plate or do you probably need to okay with vibe today? And I, I forgot actually the, okay. the, the gun Kim's got there is the Sonic and, you know, so vibration usually for Debbie means plates, but you know, Kim's a good example because she's got so many of these lymphomas. I can't say that we've had complete success with any of yours yet, but I am seeing a reduction in size. I'm seeing these things break up for lack of a better term, but it really, like Kim said, so truly it's a tolerance thing. And then the yes. best thing with a gun, if you're going to start and, and if you're going to be doing the compressions, you know, and you don't have a vibration plate, but you do have a gun. That's another good way to target it. But start on a mid to high speed, just like I recommend on the plates. It's going to be smoother. Less. It, let the gun go. That. And I actually had a lady the other day with very, very decrepit rheumatoid on top of everything else. And her hand strength is just non-existent. So all I'm having her do for the first week is just hang on to the gun. Like even yes. just hanging on to the gun while it's going you're getting that secondhand vibration, the blood, you know, her grip strength is, is getting a little bit better before yeah. she can, right? And the, uh, another tip for her, like anyone who has hand troubles, like I do, like I have lipomas all through here. I have great big three pronged one in here. So every motion I make with my hands, like, like I get so weak and I hit a point where I, I just can't even grab anymore. But when I'm using my gun, holding it up closer to that join part like don't hold yeah. it down here hold it here yeah. like you do when you have to cut when you're a little person too <laughs> that's yeah. how i use knives is i have to hold them up higher so i have more i don't know strength in that yeah. leverage right so that helps a little bit if you just put your hands up closer to the body of the gun it or gives you more of itself if I'm doing my legs, sometimes I'll, I'll hold that. And hold it here, right? Well, like you could just hold it like that. Please. So you got the red one, I got the blue one. But I'll, I'll hold oh, yeah. the handle. And I like pressure. I didn't start that way. But I'll like, you know, push oh. the top. Or you can even um, just hold on to it. It depends on the gun that you have, too. Yeah. Um, a lot of people, I, I'm going to say just because Kim brought the gun up. A lot of people would think the Dyna, some of the littler, cuter ones are, are going to be easier for smaller hands. But I, I like this Sonic model and, and some of the bigger models because they've almost got a little bit of cushion to the handle. Versus this is amazing. This oh, handle. For comfortable grip. If you're going to be hanging on yeah. to it for half, three quarters of an hour. Now, yeah. again, every gun has its place and guns have different yeah. amplitudes. So how much it's, it's moving each time it hits you changes the intensity. Just like when you stand on a machine. So um, this one has about, I think this one has 11 mils. Whereas the littler ones has less. So I yeah. if you look at a, a gun um, as the vibration part of our conversation today, something in the nine to 11 mil range is what I recommend. Uh, some of the bigger guns go upwards of 14, 15 mils. And, uh, you know, even though you're spending more and think you might be getting more value, you're getting more intensity than I think would be comfortable for this community. So that's just my two cents. And these are all the attachments that come with it. So there's different purposes for different shapes. And you know what I mean? Like there's just so much choice and options. Not every day do I feel like I want to be pounded. Not every time do I want it to be 
slippery. Sometimes you're like, got a not like I have a rhomboid problem and I get my husband to kind of like travel up and down the back spine where my rhomboid is like pulled. Right. So these things are incredible. And, and it's like, get someone to massage it. Just tell them not to just tell them barely touch me as you're flying around and never I'll sit down, still. And I'll move around. Yes. Like, do the movie. And don't like, don't go in one spot too long move always yep. move don't you know what i mean like when i do it i'll just show you a little demonstration here i crank it up fast because that's the way i like it but it's like you know what i mean you just barely touch myself and it's like oh uh, you know and i'm just like oh just it's a toy play yeah. with it feel yeah. it but don't hit your joints because then it'll bounce off. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> it bounces and you've hit a bone. Or sometimes that represents a tight spot I'm learning too. Or That's like, right. That's like awesome. a knot or something, right? Like, I, I don't know. I just, I just find that all these compression and tools that I'm trying out, they've increased my quality of life so much. Well, and I appreciate you doing that all, like showing us all introducing us to all these new things life pro is amazing i i think they're an amazing company they stand behind all their stuff for me yeah. like it's incredible the service that they provide versus like if you're just buying something like you say on amazon or you know i know some of the stuff comes from amazon that i have but hey I, I really enjoy what it's doing for my quality of life and it's helping me increase my strength, my balance, you know, and it's like beating up some of my scar tissue after I had a, my operation. And now that skin and tissue from using this gun has really gotten soft and more malleable. Awesome. So that's awesome. what the surgeon suggested. Get that tissue that scar tissue needs to be beaten up as soon as you're able to after surgeries so can, can just thank you fortunate, un, fortunate and unfortunate uh, up here in Canada they know less about these conditions that, you know than than they should as well so it's it really is an uphill battle and and Kim thank you for sharing um I, I want to add one little piece to her little repertoire there and um, Kim is using a lot of different devices and and like I mentioned earlier if you're just joining us if you are looking at multiple tools, and sometimes when you look at this stuff, uh, if you show, I always recommend going through them direct. I like dealing with the company directly. Yeah. Um, but if you're looking at them on Amazon, sometimes they bundle them and you get two or three things together for a better deal. But if you are looking at starting any of these therapies, start one at a time, yeah. give it a week, and, and understand that individual device and how your body's reacting to it before you add more. And, and what Kim has found yeah. um, over the, you know, she's been dealing with these for some time now. You know, she knows how they play off of each other. And the more you understand each of the individual tool and how your body's affected by it, the more you can add to that repertoire. And wouldn't it be great if you could manage all of your stuff with it, with tools that have lithium batteries and no drugs were required? It would be well, awesome. that's me. So um, I know many of you are having to deal with things. And, and so I, I do want to point out for those of you that are dealing with meds or have in the past, you know, there, there's reasons you need to be taking those things. Um, the compression devices um, and any of the vibration, of course, uh, together, you know, there's a detoxification piece that I sometimes don't talk about yeah. enough. I'm always talking about your swelling and your lymph and your circulation, but a lot of this is, is you know, imbalance and in conjunction with that immune health, your immunity. And um, there's a few things going around uh, that we're not going to get into a whole big discussion about, but we are getting you know, kind of out of cold and flu season and into allergy season. And, you know, um, when you guys are having lymph deficiencies and, you know, blockages and these type of things, you know, and you start using these tools to ramp up, you know, detoxification also ramps up. So make sure that you're hydrated, you're getting your rest and any type of detoxification, even exercise, you're detoxing to a degree. Um, you know, your body gets rid of the good with the bad too. It's part of the process. So make sure that the nutrition piece is there, whether it's in your food or your supplements. But, you know, if you're starting new activities, whether it's fitness, whether it's just the compressions, um, things, you're affecting your body and you want to make sure you give your body the, the nutrients that it needs to support and progress with that activity too. Yeah. So I hope that makes sense. Um, I think 
that I am rounding a little bit after an hour. Um, oh. These are not all of the compression devices that Life Pro offers. They've got a few. I will say they're not all available everywhere. Um, and again, there's lots of different ones on Amazon. You're going to find cheaper ones. Um, you're going to find more expensive ones. But my, my big plug with Life Pro is that lifetime warranty. You oh, know, I think being yes. just the trainer now, not the service person like I had to be for years and years and years. And with many of you, when you start using these things and they're part of your, you know, it's how you get through your damn day. The last thing I want is you being broke down for three to six months um, and getting back to where, you know, all that good progress will be depleted. So um, if you're using some of these tools now, you know the benefits I'm talking about. If you're not combining them, try. So if you've got a vibration plate or a gun or a foot massager, something that vibrates, use it as a bit of a tool. Try to focus on the body areas that you're targeting with your compression devices. Um, if you've been looking at something for pain relief, if you do suffer particularly with swelling, um, consistent swelling and pain, you know, and you don't have a diagnosis or you do have a diagnosis, but your insurance company won't cover it. The big reason I'm bringing this to the market today, it's, it's been in the market for but my market, my page is, um, I, I'm just sick and tired of seeing you guys so sick and tired. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. And, you know, Life Pro has been kind enough um, to allow me to show these products to you. Again, there are other products out there. They're not all available in Canada and the States, but I just wanted to give you a visual. I know they're, they're not medical grade devices, but there's a lot of people having some pretty awesome results with these. Thank you, Kim, for sharing yours. Um, You're what welcome. I I'd like to share one more thing with everybody. Oh, yeah, go for it. Like, when it comes to people like us who are sick and disabled, and I've been permanently disabled since 2014 with this, and I've never been able to just be home in my jammies having therapy. That's what this has done for me. It's been huge because I, for one, don't have money to pay for massage therapists. In British Columbia, you pay almost out of pocket for any kind of therapy. Yeah. So I don't have the money for one. I don't have the drive and the energy to even get up, get ready, get out of the house to go get a massage. I get up, I make coffee, and I sit on my vibe. I sit on a chair and I start my body rolling by getting my lymph flowing in my feet and legs then once I've had one coffee, I get another, I do another session of 15 minutes doing standing and things like that. Like the in-home therapy has provided quality of life. And I don't think that I'll ever allow myself to be without a vibration machine ever. And Life Pro's lifetime warranties. Why would I go anywhere? Yeah. Where, why would I go anywhere else? They're affordable. They're good service. And I love the group, the group they offer. They're really good. The community. There's a community. And yeah. then there's you. You have Vibration for Fat Disorders group. Like, that's an incredible group. So thank you, Debbie. Well, you know, I just happen to have a skill that happens to be of use. And um, thank you for your kind words. And, you know, I didn't know everything when I started this either. But, I, you know... I, I knew the vibration machines would, would be of benefit. And once I kind of understood a little bit more about the lipedema and Durkheim's disease world, you know, many of you are using similar technologies yeah. or you would like to be using similar technologies. And, um, but again, like I say, you've been, many of you have tried things that haven't worked out. And I, I, I wanted to share not only my experience, but I guess my confidence, you know, if, if you stick with me, consistency is the key very um, much massage gun if it's a vibration machine it, you know it using them even minimally on a regular basis yeah. um you know i if if i can do anything for you it's to stop you from digressing today right so if we can at least stop the progression of whatever it is that you're dealing with and if you've got other goals that you want to work towards great you know i'm here to be the resource you just got to show up with the discipline and um, you don't even have to have the right attitude some days. <laughs> Sometimes having a bad attitude is more motivating, but um, I hope the group is fun. And I, and I um, yes. have some announcements to make today. Um, the the, the sad part of my group is the amount of requests that I get for people that I do know need help. The way that I would help them would be the same way as I'm helping any of you. 
but maybe they don't have lipedema or maybe they don't have Durkheim's disease. Maybe they have rheumatoid arthritis or maybe they've had a heart transplant. So there's lots of other things that Debbie can do. And I've kind of had to come to a decision as to, do I start letting more people into this group? Well, I don't really want to do that because I kind of like my little group, but I, I like having our own little language of things. So, but I do want to be more accessible to friends and family members and, and folks like you, but I, I have to be very careful not to give myself away. So I have started a new website. I have started a new Facebook group and I will send some links on my page today, but I'm asking you, of course, to join it and invite all of your friends and family. But what this page is going to be more is, is more publi publicly accessible. So whether they're on Facebook or whether they're on YouTube, they don't have to be part of the private group. Um, it's not going to be all related things. So there's going to be different things there that might be of interest to you. Uh, I'm going to talk about more general medical conditions. And like I've done on this page, I hope to build up a library. So, you know, I want to do three, four videos on rheumatoid. I want to do three, four videos on Alzheimer's. And you're going to find they're all the same damn things. But again, those labels make me do multiple videos for the same moves. Um, but it helps, you know, many of you are dealing with multiple conditions. So you already know whether you're dealing with, you know, maybe it's lipedema, you know, so Fran's got lipedema, but what did you do to yourself this month? So we have setbacks. We have things happen where we need to, even within our course of treatment that we're doing now for our self-care, switch gears to address the new fire or the new problem, if you will. So, um, you know, the, the, the second most common question I get besides wh whether I should wear compressions on my machine or not is, well, yeah, I have lipedema, but I also have arthritis. Well, what I would do for the arthritis is the same thing I would do for the lipedema. So um, most people, if you have one condition, you usually have two or three or four or five or six, you know, and sometimes it's just the sport of life. And, you know, you used to play a lot of sports and you're, you know, it has nothing to do with your lipedema, but you just got bad knees or you got a bad back from an injury or something. So there's, there's many other things that these tools, you know, maybe the primary reason is the, the lymphedema or the whatever we're using the tools for, but all of a sudden you start noticing relief on old injuries and other things that you might have been dealing with. So again, the bigger theme, if you're moving and feeling better, um, maybe some of the stuff in my group um, is limited. You know, I'm very conservative. Most people coming in are a newbie dealing with extreme pain and extreme symptoms. So the new page will be a little bit more general public, general fitness. And ge I have to be very careful when I'm putting myself out there for free public access because um, I'm not there as a free public trainer. But because I have the background with medical conditions um, but lack the initials, Somebody's going to help these damn people. So I'll take the risk and uh, start doing some sessions more on a public nature because I know people like your hubbies and your kids, they, they don't necessarily want to be a part of our group and I wouldn't let them in anyways, but there's a lot of things that they're seeing you benefit from that I know you want to share with them. So um, I just want to make some of the stuff, not all the stuff and me, but I want to make some of my information more accessible and a girl's got to eat and feed kids. And, you know, the majority of the stuff that I do, believe it or not, I would guess probably 80 to 90% of the people coming to my page already own a vibration machine or a gun. You know, so I, I, I'm, I never really started that page thinking I was going to be making tons of sales. I do make some sales, but I do have other things that I love besides vibration machines. And I do represent other companies. Um, I, I don't like being biased with just one thing because one thing never works for everybody. So I've got some food partners. I've got hopefully some CBD partners. I've got a few other things that I'm passionate about. And I also have other things um, that light me up and fire me. So I'm going to be doing some things like some EMF testing on devices um, talking about some Wi-Fi things and some other things that I believe are affecting your health. Um, and just for information, other things that you guys can find out. So I, time to find out a little bit more about me, for those of you that don't know me personally. And I can't possibly accept everybody's personal friend request as much as I would like to. Um, so if I've ignored you, I don't think I've accepted a friend request in about, oh, 18 months because, you know, everybody's just trying to sell me a Durkheim's disease t-shirt or a, a cerebral palsy t-shirt or those types of things. So uh, for those of you that are part of this group, thank you for supporting me as you always have. Uh, some of you are part of my other group, uh, Cerebral Palsy for vi uh, a Vibration for Cerebral Palsy. Um, and uh, it's turning, that's another group, you know, not Cerebral Palsy isn't the only special need out there. And 
I'm helping all of them. So, you know, there's labels even within my groups and I just want, I'd rather it just be called special needs or, you know, little kids that need help. Um, but it's hard because, you know, every, everybody finds me through cerebral palsy. So some of that information, um, my new website is called Deb's Vibe. I think you can remember that. Um, it's, I, I, I didn't want to put a label on because I keep changing who I am and what I do. So Deb's Vibe is, is the new site you're going to see. I advertise my lives whenever I go live for Life Pro or I'm doing this kind of thing. Um, I've got some retailers on there. Um, if I could get you a deal, I will get you a deal. And a little bit of information about me and uh, some of my social media channels. Um, I think I've got three people on my new Facebook page. So I'll share that out today. Not much content on there, but like this page, I'll build it up over time to give you guys some more resources. And if you have any general population session ideas that you're dying for me to do, drop me some ideas anytime. <laughs>